So suppose that you've got a Blender scene loaded up, and maybe it's full of all sorts of stuff, like cubes, lights, cameras, even a little donut or two. Who knows? And so now you want to use Python scripting to automate things by looping through all those objects to apply changes in one sweep. Oh, and by the way, if you're not totally up to speed with Blender scripting yet, be sure to check out those other videos I published recently to get you set up with the basics. Okay, now let's start at the beginning, how to loop through all the objects in a scene. The simplest way to do that is with the bpy.stata.objects collection that we already talked about in the previous episode. Here's a little script that will loop through every object and print its name to the Blender system console. So as we said in the getting started tutorial, we first import the Blender Python API, so the BPY module, and then we use the bpy.data submodule inside, which is a subgroup of tools that provides you with global access to everything in your scene, usually by name. So this script uses a Python for loop to iterate through this collection, and for every object inside, prints the name property of the object. So if you run it, you'll indeed see in your system console that you get back a list of everything in your scene. It's just the same as in your outliner panel. Okay, so that's really simple, but it's a handy foundation to start working with every object in the scene, no matter what type. But now, let's say that you want to narrow it down a bit. You don't need every single thing, just the objects inside a specific collection. So for example, you've selected all your cubes, you've pressed the M key to create a new collection named My Cubes, and you've put all those three cubes inside. Then if you want to loop only through those objects in your Python script, you can do something like this. First, you reuse bpy.stata to access your collection. Again, you can use its name. And then, if you indeed found the collection, meaning there was indeed a collection by that name, you iterate through the objects inside this element, instead of trying to get the entire scene content. Another thing you could do is, when you iterate through your entire scene, check for the type of each object, to better customize the processing you are doing for each one. Typically, basic 3D mesh objects have the type mesh, all in uppercase, that contains a bunch of properties like geometry data, UVs or materials, but something like a camera obviously won't have all that. Okay, and now let's try to get one step further. Let's say that you want to filter objects by name pattern. Maybe only objects that start with tree underscore, or lamp and dash, or whatever prefix you're using. For this, we're going to use some regex to filter only the objects with a name that matches a specific pattern. If you're not too familiar with the concept, regex stands for regular expression, and it's a sequence of characters that defines a search pattern. It's a very powerful tool that is used in programming to find, match, or manipulate text by specifying patterns. For instance, if you want to find all email addresses in a list, regex can help you locate or validate the strings quickly. Each character in a regex pattern has a specific role. And if you ever need to design and test regexes, then you can use the famous website Regex101, which is a really easy and quick way to test out that a pattern matches a given string. Okay, so to do regex in Python, we first have to import the built-in RE module. Then you see that we first compile our search pattern. And this gives us back an object that has a match method, and this method allows us to check if a specific test string indeed follows this reference format. So with this script, we iterate through every object in our scene, then we use a pattern matching condition, which will give true or false answer we will enter our if block or not, but if our object's name indeed matches the specified format, then we'll get in the block and we'll get our output. More precisely, here we get all the objects that have a name that starts with the donut prefix, which can be an easy way to get a subset of objects when we've got loads of similar items and we only need to inspect or modify a specific batch. But in any case, there you have it. With these few lines of Python, you can quickly iterate through all objects, or narrow it down to specific collections, or filter by name patterns. But what do you think? What other Blender scripting tips would you like to learn? 
And as always, don't forget to check out my Patreon for even more game creation tutorials and resources, and to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And of course, on that note, thanks a lot for watching, and take care!